In the early 2000s, a groundbreaking American television show took the world by storm. Its name, Pimp My Ride. Has anybody seen that American show, Pimp My Ride? Yes. Yeah, you seen that? Hosted by the charismatic rapper Exhibit, the show embarked on a journey to transform ordinary cars into extraordinary masterpieces. Girl, take out your brand new ride. <laughs> While some of the cars ended up less than perfect, Pimp My Ride undeniably became an iconic sensation within 2000s culture, firmly etching its place into the annals of automotive history. It epitomised the vibrant spirit of the PlayStation age, resonating with a new generation that had recently been introduced to import tuner culture through the release of the Fast and Furious films and Need for Speed Underground games. However, behind the scenes controversy brewed. The scripted nature of the show and the subpar workmanship on the vehicles raised eyebrows. You can even see in the future with these things! Yet despite the controversy, Pimp My Ride is held in relatively high regard, with its large entertainment value being enjoyed by millions of people, even today. It wasn't perfect, but it didn't have to be. <laughs> Come on, you were doing good! With its resounding success, the show's creators saw an opportunity to expand its reach, and so they turned it into a franchise. Across the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, a British rendition emerged, fueled by the desire to replicate the success of its American counterpart. Pimp My Ride UK was born, but to put it bluntly, it missed the mark. But why was this? How could such a tried and tested show be so poorly executed on the other side of the pond? This is the story of Pimp My Ride UK and how it became universally hated. Debuting on British screens in 2005, Pimp My Ride UK embraced the same premise as its American predecessor, a charismatic host breathing new life into dilapidated vehicles. Westwood's gonna pimp a ride UK style. With Exhibit very much being the face of the original Pimp My Ride, the casting of an equally good host for the British version was top of the agenda. However, the British public were presented with a peculiar blend of an aging DJ and a heavily Americanized script. But nowadays, I'm a big dog. All juxtaposed against the backdrop of an uninspiring set of vehicles and the melancholic grey skies that plague British weather. The combination just didn't work and viewers were left disappointed at the complete lack of appropriating the show for British audiences. The show was also marred by an overabundance of inappropriate and discomforting humour, rendering it all the more unsettling given the host's age and demeanour. It's a Morris Minor, if you didn't know, yeah? A Morris what? A Minor. <laughs> <laughs> the viewers just didn't connect with Tim Westwood like they did with Exhibit, but this was always going to be the case. Tim Westwood was twice the age of most of the participants, and with Pimp My Ride's target demographic being young car enthusiasts, Enthusiast, aged between 16 and 34, it made the decision to cast Tim Westwood as the host even more questionable. Complaints arose about the lack of authenticity and Westwood's attempt to act like a teenager. It was a mismatch that further alienated the viewers and made the show all the more strange to watch. No real effort was made to make the show uniquely British, with Pimp My Ride UK very much feeling like a cheap imitation. The format just didn't translate well, with the show lacking an identity and appearing strangely dated. Groping for words. The British rendition also received negative feedback from countless reviewers and commentators, with famous presenter Charlie Brooker calling the show phenomenally and frighteningly shallow. He would later add further criticism about the show's premise of modifying clapped out vehicles, stating, All of which happens for no discernible reason at all. It's pure bling in action, the celebration of gaudy, self aggrandizing, shallow, meaningless shit for its own barefaced sake. The negative press from the British media definitely didn't help the show's credibility. Like all automotive shows in the 2000s, Pimp My Ride was very much in the shadow of Top Gear, a show celebrated for its exceptional car content and the chemistry between its hosts. Pimp My Ride UK felt contrived. The forced bonding between the host and the participants became difficult to watch. Who's your daddy? <laughs> the viewers yearned for a more authentic and respectful experience. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Westwood and the UK team just couldn't match the charisma that Exhibit and the West Coast Customs crew had. And yet, even with these flaws, Pimp My Ride UK was MTV's most successful show in Britain, with over half a million people tuning in every week, and with viewing figures beating rival channels like BBC One, BBC Two and E4.
But why was that? Well, Britain was in the middle of the max power craze, with interest in modified cars and automotive culture at an all-time high. Personal vehicle modification felt like a pastime any young enthusiast could become involved with, with the majority of cars young people owned being entry-level 90s made vehicles with relatively few components which were simple to work on. The Citroen Saxa, available from just 6995. Britain's youth had an insatiable appetite for modified cars and automotive culture, and for many, Pimp My Ride was the embodiment of that. The show also benefited from incorporating celebrities into a few of the episodes, including pimping a black cab owned by Bez from the Happy Mondays and working on a Volkswagen LT for Madonna. This tactic allowed the show to reach new viewers outside of the automotive world, but the franchise's downfall was just around the corner. The global economic crash of 2008 killed the Pimp My Ride franchise overnight. Suddenly it became totally distasteful to spend tens of thousands of pounds modifying rubbish old cars. Especially whilst people across the country were losing their homes. Warning from the IMF that the global economy was facing its most dangerous crisis for 70 years and that the UK is likely to slip into a recession. The PlayStation age of car modification was finally over, and with that, the world moved into a new era. where the youth were less interested in modifying vehicles. And just like that, Pimp My Ride UK was no more, with only 23 episodes being produced, 50 less than its American predecessor, 